In this video, we're going to be unboxing the world's first diabolic parasite. Shout out to the founder who sent me his personal device. We're going to unbox this with music and then do a demo. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any illegal activity. Everything shown here is only for educational purposes only. Today, we're looking at one of the most deceptive and scary tools I have in the studio, the Diabolic Parasite. At first glance, it looks like a simple USB pass-through, nothing suspicious at all. But inside, it's built for stealth. When plugged in, it can stay completely dormant, acting like just a pair of regular wires. Then, with a single wireless trigger, it comes to life. Impersonating trusted devices, injecting keystrokes, and running payloads in seconds before slipping right back into hiding. This is the Diabolic Parasite, and I'm going to show you what it is, how it works, and why it's so dangerous. Endpoint detection and response systems can detect when keystrokes happen at superhuman speeds. If typing is too fast to be a human, it flags it as a keystroke injection. But with a random cadence, the parasite can be configured to type at a variety of speeds, making it look human and avoiding detection. This payload is designed to show you how it works. As you see here, it's typing as if it's a human. This throws off detection systems. One of the standout features of the Diabolic Parasite is its built-in keylogger. While it's in pass-through mode, it can look completely harmless, just forwarding traffic like an ordinary USB connection. But as soon as you awake it, it starts recording every keystroke on the target machine. And here's where it gets really powerful. You don't even need to be near the device to see the captures. It's as simple as connecting to your diabolic parasite over a Wi-Fi connection. In the WebUI is where you can control the device, you can turn it into a keylogger, you can turn it into a bad USB, or you can even self-destruct it if you want. This is where you can control the device. Now, one of its most powerful tricks is something called keystroke reflection exfiltration. Think of it like Moss code, but instead of sound, your computer uses a little keyboard lock lights to blink out secret messages. The parasite sits quietly, watching those blinks, and turns it into data. First, I'm sending a who am I command to the computer using the parasite payload. The command forces the target machine to return my username. Next, the results get converted into binary, just ones and zeros. Then the keyboard lights blink to those bits out. If the bit is a zero, number lock blinks. If it's a one, a cap locks blinks. So the keyboard is quietly spelling out the message in binary through the lights. Meanwhile, the parasite is watching those flashes, recording them, and translating them back into readable text. All right, so I just plugged in the Diabolic Parasite into the computer. If you look inside the device manager, you'll notice it doesn't show up with anything at all. After I connect the keyboard into the Diabolic Parasite, you're gonna notice that, again, the device manager is only gonna recognize the keyboard. The device is now spoofing the hardware ID. Now, I love my Diabolic Drive, but the Diabolic Parasite just takes this stuff to the next level. That kind of stealth is perfect for proving that safety is an illusion. On the surface, the computer has no idea anything is going on, and that's what makes this device next-gen. It's honestly one of the most dangerous devices I have currently in the studio. And for $99, this is the same price as a USB rubber ducky. You get so much more with this guy. Links in the description. Again, thank you to the founder. He's the one that sent this out to me. I have his personal device. It's something I'm going to keep forever. It's always something special when you have the world's first device in your hand. And this leaves me with one question. How do you defend yourself against something you can't see? Thanks for watching, and always remember that, that safety is an illusion. illusion.